Hello friends, welcome back to Crafting It with Nicole and if you're new here, hi, welcome. So since Mother's Day is just around the corner, I wanted to make some DIY Mother's Day gift. Now let's jump right into it. Okay, so for the first project, I got this glass jar from Dollar Tree. Then I removed the fabric that it came with and it left some glue residue on the glass. So I grabbed my Goo Gone and wiped that off very quickly. Then I dried it with a paper towel. Then I got this roll of white leather from Dollar Tree and then I'm using the ribbon that came with the glass jar and I am just using that as my reference. I wanted the jar to be classy and high-end looking. That's why I wanted to add this white leather and it definitely did the job. And now I'm just gluing everything down, putting it into place. I found this beautiful ribbon at Dollar Tree and I thought it would be perfect to add to my little bouquet. And now I'll be showing you all the beautiful flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and cutting them separately so I can set them aside and get them ready to put in the glass jar. In this video, I'll be showing you some really cute and amazing DIYs that you could do for your mom, your grandmother, anyone special that you want to celebrate on Mother's Day. These are the perfect gifts for them. Super budget friendly and super easy and so pretty. Now I'm putting some moss that I got from Michael's inside the glass jar to hold all the flowers in place. For this project, I decided to go with artificial flowers just because it could last longer. They could use it for their home decor if they wanted to or even repurpose the gift. But it's something that they can have for a long time. I'm just playing here around with the flowers, putting them into place and really working with them until I am happy with it. <laughs> Then I'm putting some juke cord that came with the glass jar and then I'm adding this cute shockboard hearts that I got from Dollar Tree. I believe they come in a pack of four which is really good and I thought it would be perfect to add a little tag to this floral bouquet. And then I got this Mother's Day stickers from Michaels that had a coupon for them so I didn't pay regular price which that's definitely a plus. And then adding this beautiful sticker that says always my mother and forever my friend and I just loved it. I was so happy with the first one, I had to do two more. So here are the two others that I did. One says mom, happy mother's day. And the small one says you are the best, my best friend. I think they are so beautiful and they will be a great gift for any mom. Now for the next project, I got this frame from Dollar Tree. It brings two twine with two clips and to put two photos. And I thought I could do so much more with this frame. So I went to Michael's and I got this beautiful wood pattern paper and I just cut it to size and then I'll be gluing it to the backing of that frame. And I just used a regular glue stick on this paper just because it's not cardstock, it's regular paper and I didn't want it to be smooshy. So it came out perfect and just like that, look at the difference. I love it already, but of course I'm adding some Mother's Day stickers. And I found the perfect one for this frame. It says amazing, loving, happy, selfless, and graceful mother. Then placing a photo of you and your mom, this will be the perfect gift. I added some of these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. I love that they had the clear background so they looked like they were actually from the frame. And this was so pretty. I'll be adding another sticker that says Blessed Mama. It was so pretty so I added to the middle of the frame and then I thought it was missing a little bow, so I grabbed this beautiful gold ribbon from Dollar Tree, made it into a bow, and then glue it right in the center of the frame. See, super simple and so cute. I know this is a gift she would love to have. Now for this project, it was super quick and very simple. I got these stickers from Dollar Tree 
and the mug i didn't get it from dollar tree i got it from amazon but you can get these mugs also at dollar tree then i'm placing best mom ever sticker right in the middle of this mug and then in the back side of the mug i'll be putting another sticker that says i love you isn't this so cute any mom would love to have their morning coffee with the best mom ever mug then i also did this one that says wow mom you're amazing now for the next project i got this easter sign board and i decided to reuse it so i grabbed one of those papers with the wood patterns that i got from michael's they were on sale for like 69 cents each so i think that was a good deal and i am just measuring where i need to cut so the papers can fit perfectly on this board i mean look at this transformation it looks so good then i found this galvanized envelope at dollar tree so i decided to glue it at the bottom of this sign and i am applying some e6000 glue and then some hot glue for an immediate effect that way i know that it's secured in place now that that's done i'll be adding some blueberry picks cutting the stem to size adding some hot glue and then gluing it right in the center then i got this sticker from dollar tree that says home and i loved because it had those wood patterns in different colors and i thought it would be perfect for this sign so i am cutting each letter separately just because i want to make them fit on this vertical sign then i wanted to add this sticker that says home is where your mom is and i thought this was so pretty i knew it would be perfect for this sign so i put it on the middle of that envelope and then i decided to add some flowers and i am cutting them to size removing those leaves and then sticking them inside that envelope then i realized that the pre-holes that came with the sign were at the bottom but that was an easy fix i just glue some twine and secured it with a popsicle stick at the top of the sign and this is how it turned out Now moving on to the next project, I got this wood crate from Dollar Tree and I am just covering up those side holes with some popsicle sticks. I cut them to size and glue them in place. After that's done, I'll grab my folk art shock paint with the French linen color. I'll begin to dry brush all around the wood crate with the apple barrel melted chocolate paint. After I'm done with all the painting and it's dried, I add these beautiful stickers that I also got from Michaels and I am so happy I got them because they look so perfect on these stacks of books. And I decided to put the stickers that says, so glad you're my mom. And then at the top, I'll be placing a sticker that says best mom ever. And this will make the cutest gift. Now I'll be adding this lace ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below where are you watching from so we can give you a proper welcome. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. I love to share my ideas and tips on home decor DIYs. Now back to the project, I'm adding this beautiful gold ribbon. The center of that lace ribbon, I think it adds that dimension and I love how it looks. Then I got this burlap flowers from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of 12 and I just thought they would be perfect to add to the stacked books. And look how cute this turned out.
This last project, I did it under five minutes and it was super quick and easy, but very, very beautiful. I got this frame from Dollar Tree and then I added this sticker that says, I know what love is because of you. And then I added this mom sticker at the top and look how beautiful this picture frame turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some ideas that you could do for Mother's Day gifts. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye guys. Bye.